Okay. This is a, this is the third catheter change in about a month. Weeks? A month? Six weeks. Right, I have all the kit ready. I, I haven't got any uh, any flow at all. I don't care about my mask with my nose dropping. As long as my droplets in my mouth don't go down there. Um, all, like I said, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try the balloon. Um, so, this is the syringe that you use. I can take the cap off as gently as I can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it up. And what I might do is add two. Can you see that? Can you see it then? No. Just to show, show that it works. There's 10 in. Can you see the balloon? Just show you a little bit more that it works. I don't know whether anyone can see that. There's no leakage. Yeah, it's not going down, is it? I'd love to push it and give it a good old tug. Squeeze. Yeah, I, what I do is I might do that actually. Where Where is a sterile, well, I've got a sterilized pad here. So I'm gonna wrap it around that. And just make sure, give it a little press, a little wiggle. Right, his sat's a 93, his blood pressure's are low, and there's nothing coming out. So what I can do now is I can draw that fluid back. So sign on to be drawn back. Come on, you little bastard. That is weird. It's not drawing back. What? Mm. Oh, I will put extra men in that. It is now. It's probably me and my bloody hands. I've got to get the whole of that out. She can't put that in the body like that. So I've lost probably a little tiny bit. We'll soon see. How much? I actually haven't lost any. It looks like I, I did lose it, but I haven't. So I'm going to pop that there. So that's good to go then? It is. Um, there's my 10 mils that I'm going to pop back in. And what I've got to sterilise stuff around here. So what I'm going to do is over over inflate the balloon so it stays in place. Which over inflation is when you first put a new catheter in. You can put up to twelve mils. I've done it loads of times. Um, so I'm just going to all the, all this side is sterilised. All this side is sterilised, and I'm trying to get this catheter to go in and to stay the stay the epi. It will, I think. I hope so. I can't flick the end. Come on. So I'm putting... I'm going to put 11 mils in. That's ready to go. No bubbles, no air, no, no nothing. So let's hope that this works. So now I'm going to draw this back. Uh, by using... You, you don't have to put sterilised gloves. There's the nozzle. Um, this is a size 18 coming out. I only got 200 mils. The rest has come out uh, through the urethra. So, yeah. At least I have 10 mils. You're going to get that resistance until you've got your 10 mils back. Once I've got my resistance, that should be able to, good to go. I'll just check first. I'm not over Ben. And I'll just double check. my 10 mils that went in earlier so my dirties i'm going to put across the other side of the sterilized pad it's just uh, i've never known catheters to fail That's so badly mm. so my next step is obviously i'm going to put some sterilized gloves on now so i i, I use ben's body um because it's easy <laughs> it makes my life easier than using a tray or Super using hard. anything else so I'm going to pop that, I'll just split it, but I only split it there. So you know what, I'm not going to use that area anyway. And you can pick that glove up um, and you can touch that bit there. 
because I'm, this is going to be my dirty hand. I've got cramp. Where? Because I've got this on my arm. Mate, I need to get this out as quickly as. No, so what I've done is I've put some Instilladrel around the area, which is a local anaesthetic. And then I've got another Instilladrel and I will push that into the catheter as soon as I get the catheter out. So catheter's ready. So now I'm ready, I can touch all this sterilized stuff. So I'll pull the catheter out and I'll pop it into the catheter tray, which I'm going to use the one down here. And it remains there across all that sterilized stuff. I'm, do, I'm trying to do it as slowly as I can for everybody. Always check your dates with everything that you've got. So I've already took the nozzles off. I've, I've prepared myself for a catheter change. I'll give that a good, I'll take it about this far up because I, when I pop it in, it'll go in. So my dirty area. So as soon as that comes out now, I will then put, um, sorry, I've just had to eat some peanuts. Um, and then I'll, I'm going to see now what, what comes out of here. So always be prepared with something. Put, put a little pad across the area. Lift up the stoma as, you, as usual. Uh, it wasn't in. The piss has come out. Did you see that? I hope that got caught in there. It wasn't even in? No. That's absolutely freak. I'll blow that back up. I'm going to have a look at that dirty catheter once I'm done. So what I'll do is because there is some blockage in there, but not at the top, it's halfway down where the balloon is. Believe it or not, that is the balloon. I can't believe it's one of them. Uh, no, I'm gonna put it over here because I do need to check that balloon for other people and not do, not, not just because of you. And because he's had some ret ret retention, um, I'm just gonna make sure. So I'll show you the stoma, hang on, before I put a new one in. Let's get these gloves off and I will show you what the stone looks like. You all right, my love? Yeah. So start, you always give a good reading. Take this round, you're gonna see his butty, butty, his cute little ass. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and show you it's a clear stoma and no, no retention because that's all just pissed out. So there's nothing there. I'm going to give this a little. So there you go. That's just proved that the stoma's clean. Stoma's healthy. I'll grab some gloves on and we'll get that in. Get a new one back in. And I will check. Yeah, he's got low blood pressure. So I do need to get on really quick. <laughs> and for quickness, I have these gloves, which are quite easy to use. Which one you put the new one in there? So I can use dirty hands. This is all sterilized. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go into the stoma and I'm gonna pop the instiller gel in there. You all right, my love? I, I can't wait to check that balloon. Are you okay? I'm fine. So SATs are 97, so that's pretty cool. Hold on, oh, there's a glove. Let's get another glove on. So I'm double gloving and then I'll trip the glove on my left, my right hand. Um, and it's just, just in case it doesn't go in, I don't know. But I don't know, I haven't got a clue what's going on with these bloody balloons, but they're, they're a thickening nightmare. Well, that balloon is gonna force you This out. is gonna be dirty, so it doesn't matter. This is my clean one. I'm ready to pop that in. I've got my 10 mils ready. And so pop your hands into a sterilized glove. Use it, use the steriliser onto the person's body. Grab the new one. Give it a good old, go. yeah, and absolutely, there it is. There's the instiller gel, and in it goes. You all right? Yes. There, I've got flow. Again, there's old blood coming out. I don't know whether the, the actual camera can see this, but I've got some debris <laughs> for some oh. crap and uh, he's got to feel relieved after that damn right no more idea mm. no i'm on at all no it's absolutely weird so i'm going to cut this around my finger and around my thumb a bit sore inside you're going to be sore oh, i'm removing the package because it slips on your fingers and then i'm just going to blow the balloon up inside 
come on. Hang on, I can't do it that way, I'm afraid. That's just not working for me. I'm just trying to hold it in place at the same time so it stays in place. I just need to get that balloon in, in situ. Once the balloon's in situ, which is going in now, locking off, throwing that. There you go. And we have here in. That is absolutely crap that's coming out of him. What I'll do is I'll sterilise this whole bag. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot of sediments coming out of that. And what I'll do is I will blow this balloon up now. And just to show that what is wrong with that yellow stuff that's around it. It's really bizarre. That is what you call a capital change. Um, I'm just glad it's done now. You all right? Are you feeling okay? Yeah. So I've got an old syringe here with some uh, urine inside. So what I'll do is I'll bring this back to the camera. Oh, you tested it? I'm going to test it because I will then phone the hospital and tell them I can touch it all because it's disgusting. <laughs> I'm not going to bring it near Ben. I'll pop it in my, my sterilised area and then I'll see what's going on, look. It's all around the balloon, look. Yeah. That is strange. So I'll cap off and show you. I don't know why, but that balloon does not look right to me. And I've been doing this for many, many years. Squeeze it. Over 26 odd years. And at the top, there seems to be something wrong. And around the actual balloon itself is not, it's, it's not normal. Can you see that? That's so why. You know? That's why it was out. And I'll show you now. I'll, I've got to deglove first. Did get the whole lot off. That's why it stopped working. It did stop working because of that. Right, and I will show you now. Um, my gosh, what a nightmare! What a two and a half hour uh, morning we've had. Breakfast. No, I had to have a That's sneakers bar, mate. I was starving. Yeah, but your your sats have gone to 98. Your sats are brilliant. And also, I've got I've got complete flair. Look. You have now, love. And Capita's absolutely warm. Brilliant, we've done it. Done. There you go, darling. How do you feel? Good. So Good what enough. I'll do now, right, is because I touched the catheter, obviously, um, I have wipes. So I'll wipe that, I'll wipe the bag. And then what I'll do is I've got sterilised wipes here. So you can sterilise, um, obviously, the tube all the way down, which is what I'll do, just to make sure that there's nothing, nothing at all um, that can cross-contaminate then, because uh, I do believe it's catheters. There's no way. There's no way that would have happened. I haven't done there this. There's no blockage. Years and years and years. Since he was a child, I don't think. I told you there was no blockage. You've got no blockages. You've got nothing. It was the actual balloon, just as I thought. So, yeah, that's a super pubic third catheter change. Fail. And a failure of a balloon. Fail. And if you see the other balloon, if you go back to another video, your other balloon is, is round, obviously. Um, but it's all equal. That wasn't, that was lopsided. <laughs> so how do you feel now, my love? And you'll do two more readings, right? Because that was very low, look. Oh, it was 90, um, it was, it was low. So we're just going to check this out now. Make sure he's got a good reading. So it only took 15 minutes, but I was slow to do it. Normally it only takes me about two minutes. Um... Oh, I can have my mask off now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 105, 66, 75, 97. So, so it's, it's, it's okay. It's all, it, that will work now. I'll do, I'll do two more readings and I'm going to get them cleaned up and washed.